Good evening, sir. Good evening. Would it be alright if I stayed topside a bit to watch the water? I suppose the handsome sailor may do many things that are forbidden to his messmates. Yes, sir. Sea's calm tonight, isn't it? Calm and peaceful. The sea's deceitful, boy. Calm above. And underneath? A world of colliding monsters preying on their fellas. Murderers, all of them. Only the sharpest teeth survive. I like to know about such things. As you do, sir. You're an ingenious sailor, Billy Bud. Is there behind that youthful face a wisdom the pretty virtue has need of? Even the gods must know their rivals, boy. And Christ had first to recognize their ills before he cured them. What, sir? Never mind. But tell me this. How have you the stomach to stand here and talk to me? You know my reputation. Jenkins and the rest are witnesses. And certainly you've heard them talk to me. Half of them would knife me in the back some night and do it gladly. Jenkins is thinking about it. Doubtless he'll try someday. So how do you dare then? Have you not got intelligence enough to be afraid of me? To hate me as all the others do? Well, why should I hate you, sir? You speak to me kindly when we meet. I, I know some of the men are fearful of you, sir, but I can't imagine that they're right about it. You're a fool, fella. In time, you'll learn to fear me just like the rest. But young you are, and scarcely used to the fit of your man's flesh. Well, I know they're wrong, sir. You aren't as they say. No one could be so... So? So what, boy? Vicious, did you mean to say? Or brutal? But they ain't wrong. And you would see it too if it weren't for those blue eyes that light so kindly on your fellow man. Well, I've got no education, I know that. Must be a lot of man misses when he's ignorant. But learning's hard. And it must be kind of lonely too. What are you prattling on about, half man, half child? Your messmates crowd around you, admire your yellow hair. And your blue eyes do tricks and favors for you out of love. And you talk of loneliness. Well, I just noticed how you were looking leeward as I came up, sir. Kind of sad you were looking. Not sadness, boy. Another feeling. More like pleasure. Yeah, that's it. I'm feeling it now, looking at you. A certain pleasure. Well, thank you, sir. Yeah, you know, I could tell just by talking with you, sir. I could tell that they're wrong about you. They're ignorant, like me. Compliment for compliment. Hey, boy? Have you not got a heart for terror, fella? You've seen this sticky noose. Have you not got sense of spleen and liver to be afraid? Or even to be cowardly? Oh, well, no, sir, I guess not. I like talking to you, sir, but please, sir, tell me something. I wonder if I can. Well, ask it. Why do you want us all to think that you're so brutal and not like everyone else? I think you are the only child alive that wouldn't understand if I tried to explain it, or else you'd not believe it. Well, I believe you, sir. There's a lot I can learn from you. I've Never met a man like you before. Do you like me, anybody? You've always been most pleasant with me, sir. Have I? Yes, sir. In the mess that day I came aboard, and almost every day since you've had a pleasant word. And what I have said tonight, are these pleasant words? Yes, sir. Please, sir. Would it be all right if I would talk to you in between watches, when you've nothing else to do? You're a plausible boy, Billy. 
and I. The nights are long, and talking serves to pass them. Well, thank you, sir. It would mean a lot to me. Perhaps to me, too. No. Charm me, too, would you? Get away! Hi, sir. <laughs> 